really getting under and behind that ball there. Yes. Thirty fourteen. Still one break point to save. Well, you don't have to be a genius to work out what the game plan is here. Getting into position, stepping into the court. Let the arms go a lot better on that one. Oh. Juice. Another comfortable hold for Barty when she's able to dictate the point on her serve. She's looking rock solid. Well, that's good positive stuff. 30-15. Barty has two challenge play there. She sent she had Ash on the run. Got that volley out in front, straight into the open court. That's good stuff from Barty. Love 30 was a real problem. 40, 30. Fight back by the Australian. Oh, yes. Whipped around the outside of that. Put some work on it. That was impressive. Hit that ball. Fantastic. Head over the ball. Knew she had a little bit of space and went for it. Oh! The inside out forehand at a huge moment in the match. Remarkable winners. Nice touch there from Kennan on the forehand side this time using the drop shot. Barty was toying with the idea of challenging and stopping the point. It's probably appropriate we go to a tiebreaker. Ash Barty's previous match too. A little too trusting of the lines people at the moment. And that's trouble straight away.
again the positive attitude Two, that she just dis displayed all the way through this first set really making sure of that volley there good focus out in front certainly good feel on that backhand side there It's had the feel of a sort of set that might come down to just one point. Maybe that was it. Ash cracks a 20th winner of the match. That's a great look. Again, going for the lines on the big shot. Good response there, set that forehand up with a very deep backhand. That's big. How about that for a return of serve on set point? That's courage. That's a fantastic point under that sort of pressure. Obviously not playing to the score, just knowing what she has to do, what she needs to do. She kept her cool. Yeah. That is a very it's mature so performance from that young woman. Awesome. Too good. Plenty of room to land that. 40, 50. Both players seem to be handling the heat okay out there at the moment, so maybe not a real need to close the roof as such. That's good awareness there. Sophia really closing on the net there and Ash sensing that and flicking up a good lob. That's a positive point from Ash there. That's brilliant. Yeah, we're sitting right behind the court here and you could just see that ball land on the court and then really cut away there. Very nice. You don't see too many slice backhand winners like that. That is impressive. And the break comes and it comes early. And there's the response from the Rod Laver Arena crowd. I just wonder, Sam, whether we've seen this period that I speculated about. Yeah, probably understandable after the intensity of that first set, but this is where Ash has done well to keep that up. Very well executed. Yeah, if she is going through a flat spot, it might be physically, but it doesn't seem to be two. mentally. Yeah, that ball just sitting 
too short in the court. She's done it again. And that is not an easy shot to play from back there. Kenny could have probably moved in a little bit quicker there, but Ash keeping side on, put a little more on it. That is a fantastic shot. Oh, again. Three of the best from Barty. <laughs> She's growing in stature. And now Cannon faces a very dangerous game and a very dangerous time of the match. How good has she been under pressure? Does she play with composure? Very nice feel there. Oh, yes, that is exceptional. She loves this backhand cross court, doesn't she? Short angle in the court. Ash, nowhere near that one. What a way for the break to come. Forty. And again. Twenty palms for the people Please. around Melbourne Park. But the situation is as well. That's a way to respond. And the Australian dream of a Grand Slam on home soil is shattered. Sophia Cannon produces one of the performances of her tennis life.